Let's do it. Rowan. This is Jake Matthews, and you're watching Path to Greatness. This is PlayStation's Path to Greatness. Go Irish. You want more of those? <laughs> Which one? PlayStation. Who do that voice for that, man? Who does the voice? Where is it? Somebody should do an audition for it. This is Path to Greatness with Jake Matthews. This is Path to, this is Path to Greatness. One more time. You're watching Path to Greatness. <laughs> <laughs> How many commercials are you going to have? Next, this is Path to Greatness with Taj Boyd. <laughs> greatness awaits. One more of those. <laughs> <laughs> with the... <laughs> greatness awaits. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Thanks, man. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so now that draft day is finally here and my path is finally coming to an end, you know, it, it's pretty crazy to look back to where I've came from and, you know, think about all the kids that played peewee football growing up and me being one of them and making it to this point, which, you know, so few guys do, you know, I just feel really humbled and honored. Ultimately, you know, if you write down your list of goals, you know, at the top will sit, you know, NFL draft, where you want to go. You know, you see all the mocks, you see all the different things, but Nothing is really set in stone until May. My journey, you know, it's been great, and hopefully tomorrow, you know, I find out who my future employer is. You know, I can't control it, but, you know, I put in the work, and hopefully somebody notices it and, uh, you know, gives me a chance. Since day one, you know, starting my path, it's been about consistency, honestly. It's been about, you know, just working hard, getting back to where you need to be, and, you know, just staying there. Three, two, one, out. It was a really different training for uh, pro day and combine just because throughout college, workouts were designed specifically for football and practice and games. But, you know, throughout this whole process, you know, we're training to run 40s and, uh, you know, pro agility drills and how high we can jump. So that, that was a little bit of a change up. About three of these, keep it relaxed off your chest, pull. Stomach's tight, good ball. In the process, in general, has been something for me to embrace, something that I'll be able to carry with me forever. And for me, I wanted to make the most out of it, so I feel like I grew in every aspect of my life, whether it was you know, physically, mentally, and spiritually. Um, I grew in every aspect. Man, people gonna think we famous or something, huh? A lot of guys don't get this opportunity. I know I put in the work, but at the same time, you know, I have people around me that, you know, can get more credit than I have, you know, getting to this point, you know? Well, the biggest thing I've learned from uh, the business of pro football is that it is a business. I mean, you know, you're expected to go out and perform. It doesn't matter where you came from, what situation you're from. You know, it doesn't matter what your last name is. Um, you gotta go out there and, and do what, what's expected of you and what you're paid to do. That's, that's really the biggest thing I've taken away from it. If it doesn't work out in the NFL, they'll, they'll get rid of you and find someone else who can. They always say NFL not for long. You, know, you never know how long you're gonna have in this game. One injury and you can be done. You know, obviously being able to, to play at this level and even be considered to play at this level is an honor in itself. So whatever you get drafted in, whatever opportunity you get, you still gotta go out there and make the team but you want to go out there and try to put yourself in the best situation possible. The dream of mine has been like to make my mom happy, and she would love to see me walk across the stage just to give me a big hug and kiss and be proud. If I get a chance to walk across the stage with a commissioner, you know, I, I want to give him a big hug and a slap on the butt and just say thank you for giving me this opportunity. You know. I think the part that I'm looking forward to the most is holding that jersey up. Um, you know, there, it, there's so much hype and and rumors that go throughout this whole process and just to finally have an answer and know, you know, this is the team I'm gonna represent. That, that's probably gonna be the best part for me is holding that jersey and, you know, this is it, I made it. Um, this is where I'm gonna be, you know. That, that's a pretty special, special moment. You know, hopefully greatness awaits.